So who said that Forge AI was only good for Firefight? Today's Forge map showcase is all about exploring the insane idea of players being able to create their very own campaign style maps right here in Forge mode. Featuring aspects such as the return of Spartan Ops and even creating a connected storyline system that spans throughout multiple maps. Everything that is about to be shown off here today is a huge step in the right direction for Forge mode. So make sure you stay locked in for this. Lastly, our Spartan Outpost Discord server is home to tons of other Forgers, all sharing their awesome maps maps and designs, so make sure to swing by. But without any more delay, here's three campaign forge maps that you can play right now in Halo Infinite. Kicking it off at number one, we land right in the edge of a crowded jungle war zone with Recompense. Created by Human Guy Man and Uncle Kezo. This is a campaign styled linear story map where you will find yourself progressing through a jungle crawling and banished forces. For this, you're going to make sure you pair this up with the newly updated Recompense M1v2 game mode as well for this to work correctly, otherwise you won't have respawns. This map is absolutely flooding with enemies and will have you and your team set up to deal with numerous elites and jackals attempting to secure the area. On the map there is limited ammo and only the remains of a few assault rifles and leftover weaponry that the UNSC left behind is all that really remains. Really cool waterfall designs are seen here, there's also active camouflage elites constantly lurking around every corner and don't be surprised if you get ambushed by brute berserkers here as well. There is also a moment where you will find yourself squaring off against two enraged hunters in a parking garage. They're also grossly underprepared for this fight and will quickly eat the few rockets that you have on you, leaving you to get creative with the rampaging Bond brothers closing in on you. Once you reach towards the end of the mission, you will face your toughest battle yet. Meeting up with the surviving remaining UNSC forces, you will find them barely hanging on for life, and will have to quickly gear up and prepare for the ultimate showdown against the Banished. With dropships bringing in dozens of elites, hunters, and even brute chieftains all storming their way towards your position. It's going to be a hell of a fight. However, at least here you'll be happy to know that there is a steady supply of chain gun turrets and plenty of ammunition to help you push through the battle. Next up, we're diving in into a frozen battlefield with Inclemency, created by Madman Epic. Make sure you're pairing this up with the Inclemency game mode as well. This map is absolutely gigantic, and from start to finish, it feels like you just loaded up an actual mission of Spartan Ops here in Halo Infinite. The combat scenes are intense, and the mission will force you to approach your battles carefully, constantly swapping up your positions and having to back up as it won't take long to quickly get surrounded. The cool part about this mission I enjoy most is the fact that everything here feels so well put together. From driving across an icy landscape with turrets blasting at you, actual button operated doors separating zones, and fantastic scaled bases that you actually get to make your way into. The fact that this mission was made by just one person is just absolutely mind blowing. And even more so when you realize just how much has been put into this, as while you explore, you will also need to keep a constant lookout for special weapons as well, such as unique manglers and even rocket launchers. There's even been a bit of lore set up here, with the story being that you and your team has been stranded inside of a banished excavation field, where you must slowly burn your way through the map to make your way towards the extraction. By all means, the lighting is perfect, and with the blaring winter storm going on, enemies will often just blend right into the environment making it even more challenging to make your way through the map. For your final stop, you will be taking on immense levels of enemies and will have to tough it out against waves of enraged brutes and two hunters arriving by dropship. Before I forget, you can also hit up to four players with this one. However, be aware, the more players you add on, the more you're going to push the danger, as there is a built-in difficulty scaling system in place that's being based on the number of players in the game. For the last spot on the list, it's time that we look at an entire campaign series. Now this is the Hunt Campaign, created by Taking Elk 0770. The whole thing is a large scaled idea where you and a team of up to a whopping 8 players get to set off across 4 individual missions, each of them containing their very own lore, and surprisingly enough, the missions themselves actually have objectives tied into them, such as freeing marines from banished prison pods, or even restoring power to buildings, all while taking on droves of banished hellbent on stopping you. All these missions vary from having their own designs, 
such as a unique Pillar of Autumn styled aesthetic to fighting it out on pre-made maps. You will also find unique weapons throughout the missions as well to help promote exploration, including ones that can even be found in the standard Halo Infinite campaign, which I thought was a really cool touch. Each of the Hunt campaign missions all use the exact game mode, being the Hunt mini campaign. This idea alone really just shows what can really be possible with Forge right now. And it's just a super cool reminder of what the potential of map creators are capable of once they have the proper tools in their hands. I also believe that each mission has enemy difficulty scaling as well. And with the added bonus of a large scaled 8 player support being here, you can set yourself up for some wild battles against plenty of raging banished. And while yes, that is a lot of Spartans for something like this, there's also some adjustments put in place such as long respawn timers to help with pacing. So what do you guys think? Is Forge insane or what? Just as a reminder to you all, these Forge tools have only been available for just a few days now, and we're already seeing some crazy progress being made all over the community right now. If you are interested in downloading any of the maps that I've showed off here today, as always, all the links are available inside the description, including the game modes as well. The Spartan Outpost Discord server is growing stronger each and every day, with plenty of creative Spartans sharing all sorts of awesome creations that they've been working on. If you are a Forge artist, or simply just a wandering Spartan looking to hang out in some custom games with us, make sure to join our Discord today. Also, if you want to, like the video if you want to see even more of what you saw here. And as always, I'll see you in the battlefield. Spartan out.